How many times have you wished that you were like another person? I used to think that. And then I realized that I have a superpower that you have and that you helped me figure out that I have. And the superpower is being me, all of me. Please know that that is also your superpower and I will explain it in a minute. When I was really young, I always thought that I had to be perfect and that was the start of an eating disorder which messed with my head, with my life, with everything, but it became the basis of everything else that I would do later on in life, including being a communicator, writing books about most everything that I've gone through, including my eating disorder, depression, anxiety, divorce, unemployment, no money, being poor, et cetera, et cetera, and which you can watch in other videos that I have up on YouTube. I think we all go through some of this at some time is feeling that we're not good enough, that what if people find out what we're really like? Would they still like us? Would they still respect us? The moment that I decided to write my book on my eating disorder when I was 29 and have it published at 30, my biggest fear was, wow, now people, I mean, what are they gonna think of me? They're gonna think less of me. I'm flawed, they will finally find out. Well, it turns out that when even friends of mine read my book where I gave all the awful details of things that had happened in my life and struggles and character defects I had, everything, and I put it in my book, they said to me, this makes you more human. I didn't realize that from the outside they thought it was this perfect, seemingly happy, perfect, person and I certainly wasn't and I certainly am not. By sharing myself what what I realize is number one that a lot of people comment on my videos and send me messages saying thank you it's so refreshing to just you know hear you talk about things with such normality you know like when I talk about depression and, and my struggle with this and they say I'm so brave I don't really think I'm brave because it doesn't really scare me and this is the whole point it no longer scares me to share my struggles my defeats my failures because we all go through them everybody has things that they've done wrong or that they could have done better we all have family <laughs> issues in our family of origin we all have um, made this or that mistake or have this or that thing that we are afraid that other people will find out about us and maybe not like us so much. But here's the thing. When I lost that fear, when I realized that nothing was going to happen, like nothing at all, if I shared my struggles, was when I realized that it was a superpower because nobody could do anything. Nobody had any power over me anymore nobody at all because nobody could come and really still can't and go online for example and say oh well Lorraine really I mean you should know her in person even though she gives all this great advice online she takes meds for depression well guess what you already know this and if you didn't know now you do that's the power of owning one story at least for me especially if you work online being you the way you are and doing things the way you do them instead of trying to be somebody else. For example, I have a website called viva50.com that I launched the year that I turned 50. I'm turning 55 this year in August. So when I launched the website and publicly announced my age, which I had never stopped doing anyway, a lot of people told me, aren't you afraid that people are going to pigeonhole you, that they're going to um, you know, think differently of you or whatever. And I was, you know what? No, because if people want to work with me, they're going to work with me. And they, that way they know what they're actually getting into. And by into, I just mean who I am, how old I am, what I do, etc. So if I try to keep it a secret, the anguish of not wanting people to find out my age, for example, would probably kill me. And I know that a lot of people live with these anguishes. I know that a lot of people live in fear of, oh, what if they find out that I am, and take your pick, depressed, have a certain illness, uh, have made this mistake in life, or whatever. What I've noticed as well is that by fully embracing my superpower, which is being myself, First of all, again, it, I have no fear of other people coming and saying, well, this has happened to Lorraine because I would be, yeah, sure it did. And I probably have it in one of my books. So, so what? 
And that is very important to lose that narrative of, oh, somebody knows this about me and I hope they don't tell everybody else and stuff like that. It's like, if you embrace that, because we're people, we all make mistakes. Also, by embracing who you are and being who you really are and, and conducting yourself that way in business, professionally, in family, etc., it just makes life so much easier. Instead of trying to be somebody or talk like somebody or say things that don't belong to you, that are not really you, you're free. Everything is just easy, you just do it. My invitation to you is to really and honestly embrace all of you. You might not want to go around telling your story the way that I tell all my stories because that's just something I was born with, like the wanting to share that struggle and, but not in a, oh, poor me kind of way, but because I've evolved from every struggle. So I like to turn that into a lesson for myself and possibly for others to maybe avoid other people making those mistakes. The moment that you embrace your superpower, which is all of you with your flaws, your good things, your not so good things, which make the wonderful, unique person that you are, then I promise you that you will feel free, you will feel way more joyful, and you will also be wanting to share that with other people because because it is so freeing. What do you think about this? Do you embrace yourself? Do you not? Do you still feel other people have a hold over you because of something they know about you that you'd rather other people don't? Do you have anything that makes you feel less than? If you do, I encourage you to seek out help, therapy, uh, groups, maybe just start a blog and write about it or share it down in the comments is that you're not alone in that and that it doesn't make you a worse person. Only you can be you and be the best you that you can be. And that really is something that hit me like a big realization. It might seem really obvious, but the moment that it kind of awakened in me, I felt like a goddess and I felt like sharing it. So I thank you for being here and for allowing me to find out what my superpower was and share it with you. I share some of my other superpowers that helped me bounce back from losing everything in my book, Reach from Single Mom on Welfare to Digital Entrepreneur, which you can find as an ebook and also as a very thin paper book on amazon.com. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video too. And if you didn't, I'm sure there's other videos that I've done that might hit the spot.